Hi guys, Kevin here. For lunch today, I'm going to make some puff pastry harvest turnovers. The turnovers contain apples, onion, bacon, cheddar cheese, and a whole lot of pumpkin pie type spices. They're absolutely delicious and well worth your time. I actually found the recipe on a box of Pepperidge Farm puff pastry several years ago. To start, grab a couple of good baking apples, either Granny Smith or Golden Delicious or Crispin's. These are Crispin's. And either peel them by hand or by machine. Whee! I like this apple peeling gadget. Now cut the apple into half inch cubes. I like this little ceramic knife. It never needs sharpening. Put the apples in a two quart saucepan or a small Dutch oven. I like this Le Creuset model. In go the apples. And then to keep the apples company, add one medium sized diced onion. I diced my onion earlier today. Also add to the pot two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. One, two, and a quarter cup of firmly packed brown sugar, light or dark as you please. And what else goes in here? Um, oh, a half teaspoon of Ground cinnamon. Oh, is this going to be good? Well, I already know it's good. And an eighth teaspoon of ground cloves. And an eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. And boy, do I love the smell of nutmeg. Then add some grinds of black pepper. I'm adding five. Remember, this is a savory, not a sweet turnover. And two tablespoons, oops, rather one and a half teaspoons. I better get my teaspoon ready. Two and a half teaspoons. Did I see two and a half? Nope, one and a half. Well, I'll have the recipe printed on my website. And that's pure maple syrup. Done. Give the mixture a quick stir. Then set the pot over medium low heat. And then partially cover the pot. And let the mixture cook for about 20 minutes, stirring from time to time until the apples and onion are tender. While the apple mixture is cooking, dice up seven strips of thick cut bacon. Yay! And by the way, frozen bacon is much, much easier to dice than not frozen bacon. Cook the bacon over low heat until it is cooked but not crispy. This will take, oh, about three minutes. When the bacon is done, drain it on paper towels. And be sure to save your bacon grease. You want it next time you need to saute green beans or some other vegetable. Back to the apple mixture. When the apples and onions are tender, turn up the heat and stirring all the while, continue to cook until all of the liquid has evaporated. And as you can see, boy, I really need more light here. My liquid has already evaporated. I'm going to let the mixture cool to room temperature for about one hour. Then I'll come back and we can assemble the turnovers. See you in a jiff. Okay, I'm back and I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 
And by the way, although this recipe makes eight turnovers, I'm only, I'm only going to make four of them today. I'll put the rest of the filling in the refrigerator. And this weekend when I have guests, I'll make some more turnovers. Anyway, grab a sheet of thawed but still quite cold puff pastry, or two sheets if you're planning to make all eight turnovers, and then roll it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Then cut the pastry into four equal quarters like so. Then place slightly less than a quarter of a cup of the filling onto the center of each square. Yum! Then top the apples with about a tablespoon of the bacon we sauteed earlier. Double yum! A little cheese, anyone? Sprinkle about two tablespoons of shredded cheddar cheese over the bacon. Then fold each square into a rectangle. Then grab your favorite fork and use it to crimp the edges of the pastry to seal each of the turnovers. Then use a knife to cut a one inch slit in the top. This will allow steam to escape. Then brush each pastry with beaten egg. The egg will help the pastries to brown in the oven. These pastries are ready for the oven. I'll let them bake for about 20 minutes or until they puff to perfection and turn an appetizing shade of brown. And here are the turnovers, all puffed and browned and beautiful and begging for attention. I'm going to let them cool on a wire rack for about 10 minutes and then I'll come back and have a little tasty. Are you ready? Can you hear that crunch? Mm. You guys, these turnovers are the, uh, they have the perfect balance of savory and sweet. And I really hope you'll try them someday. Uh, again, you can make the filling well in advance and just assemble the turnovers whenever you're ready. And you could serve them to your yacht club or your bridge club or your quilting club. I don't know what kind of clubs you belong to. Anyway, please give them a try. As you've just seen, they're really easy to make. And I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you'll give this recipe a nice big thumbs up. And I hope you'll post a comment below because I love to hear what you have to say. And I'm going to finish eating probably all of these turnovers, which is why I did not make all eight of them. And I will see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye for now.